Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have a, another, this should be kind of my final of, I've been cataloging my lotions and uh, shower gels, both Bath and Body Works and non Bath and Body Works, kind of like showing my collection, which is ridiculous. I know. This is the finale of that. This is all of the lotions that I have uh, kind of, most of these are stashed in my office, to be honest, because um, I have some bookshelves that I just keep sacks of stuff on. Yeah, I'm ridiculous. Anyway, um, this is kind of the end of that. Hopefully around the holidays, so into the next year, I will do one on like my hand creams and like foot creams, body butters, because they're all in a container together. And yes, this is like this because I don't have like a bed to spread them out on or I don't want to put them on the floor because for some reason the, the, the janitorial services have not been um, great this semester. We are just finished week nine and they have not vacuumed in here at all. So my floor is pretty gross. I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm going to bring a vacuum and vacuum everybody's sweet because they haven't been doing that. Um, yeah, I complained two weeks ago and then they stopped collecting the trash every day. I was like, I don't want to complain. I'm really, it's just, that we've been neglected. They haven't changed light bulbs. So, so we're bringing in our own light bulbs. We're, we're going to be va vacuuming ourselves. It looks like, but I, I would lay them out on the floor, but mm, no, it, it's too gross right now. Uh, even though I'm trying to be neat and tidy, you know, stuff happens. Students tracking things too. I'm sure they're like, wow, this really is a ghetto uh, office. So I wanted to go through my lotions, just kind of show them to you as fast as possible. Let me know if you love any of these scents, what your thoughts and opinions on the scents are. If there are any scents that you are looking forward to coming back that you would hope would come back. Let me know all of that down below. I've rambled too much. Okay, so first up we have a Pure Wonder. This is not my favorite scent. It does not have scent notes on it though. This is from 2021. Then we have a Bubbly Rosé, which is also from 2021, if I remember, yes. This is Pink Sparkling Rosé, Blood or Sweet Blood Orange, and Splash of Cranberry. I might end up giving the Pure Rose, or Pure Wonder to my friend who really loves it. I know she really loves that scent. Uh, from 2022, this past year, Strawberry Snowflakes, this scent sent me over. I absolutely love the scent. So I did pick up several of these because I wasn't sure if they'd bring it back. If they did, spoiler, well, you already know that because it's probably in stores by the time this comes up. So here's four. Yeah, I loved it. And I bought it when it was on SAS. I have a couple of A Thousand Wishes. These are from 2022 as well. Strawberry snowflakes. I'm sorry they didn't put notes on the back. So when they do, I will tell you. This is a uh, thousand wishes. Is pink prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. Those came, I think, in like gift boxes. I have a butterfly, which looks like I need to. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it's the bottle that's changing color because it's all the way. Yeah, anyway, this is Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, and Airy Vanilla. It's nice. I have a Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. This is Velvet Peach, Vanilla, Meringue, and Creamy Jasmine. This is from 2021. The Butterfly is from 2022. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not that old. Then I have a Snowflakes and Cashmere. This doesn't have notes on it either. That one was 2021. And then finally in this bag, the, uh, wrapped in vanilla, this is Soft Vanilla, Velvet, Sugar, and Chantilly Cream. Oh my gosh, this one is so rich and decadent. And that was from 2022 as well. Yeah, I have a lot. Some of these are because I want to make sure that I have them down the road. And some of it is because uh, I sometimes go into a trance when I go into bath and overspend. Anyway, we have some vanilla mocha martini. This is the same as the vanilla mocha creme. And these are from 2022 as well. And I think they clearance those out at the last SAS. I have a Moonlight Path. This is a nice, this is Night Blooming Jasmine, Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and a Soft Musk. Usually uh, lavender irritates me, but not this one. It's so powdery um, and it kind of like fades into it. This is from 2022. And then I have from this past year, Fresh Jungle Rain. This is 2023. This is Raindrop 
Rain Kissed Palms, Amazon Dragon Fruit, and Misty Breeze. It's, it's a nice kind of scent. We have a rose. This one is from 2022. The notes on rose are airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. And then I have a fall and bloom. The notes on this are juicy plum, wild blooms, and velvet moss. This one is also from 2022. They were going to get rid of it, and then they brought it back in the faceted. I did not pick up any more. Oh, I love this one. This is cotton candy champagne. These are from 2021, both of these. I know I got some that are dated 2022, though, also. This is bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. Oh, such a good one. Loved that one. Wish they would bring it back. I just threw a bottle. So we have champagne toast. We have different versions of champagne toast. We have 2022, 2021. So this first one, this is what it looks like. It has like that really pinkness to it. Then we have this one that's more of a pale shade. These do not have color, uh, shade, uh, scent notes on them. Shades. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I have this champagne toast. This is like the pearlized one. This one of them came in a, in a gift with purchase, like the big PWP or GWP, no, PWP, purchase was purchased. Then we have warm vanilla sugar. I was so excited when they brought this one back. Intoxicating vanilla, white white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. It's another nice one. Rounding out my lotions, I have two groovy watermelon. This came out this past uh, summer. This is uh, from 2023. This is juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. I really love this one. It's pink watermelon blast, just different name. And then I have this guy right here. This is from Loxiton, Loxiton, I don't know. You know how to pronounce it. Maybe, maybe not. This is Happy Cherry. It is uh, the Fleurs de Cerise. I just, I thought it was so pretty. I bought a pack of this at TJ Maxx. So it has the matching shower gel. And yeah, I have that one as well. I have a couple of weird, like one-off type of things that uh, probably would have been, I don't know. I don't know how to classify them. So first up, I have this Kate Spade Cherie body lotion. It's a smaller one. It's a 3.3. So normally this would have been in that drawer that I did that giant video of. And then I got this one because I was really curious about it. This is the Lightweight Spray Body Moisturizer in the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, which is passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. So yeah, we, we have that one. And then I have this one. This one also is brand new. This is from Kenzie. This is the Berry Beauty Body Lotion. It matches the scent. It came in a gift set for $25. So I got this. I got a body oil, which I'm going, like a shimmering body oil, which I'm going to pass along. And then it had a um, travel spray as well. So I have I have this lovely strawberry scented lotion. Okay, we have body creams. I have, I have quite a few body creams here. I've been going through at least two lotions a month, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes three, just it kind of depends. So I feel like I will get through all of these before they go bad, but I do need to keep using them and probably not buy anything. I don't think there's really anything this holiday season that I'm super excited about. I probably will pick up another set of strawberry snowflakes just because the packaging's so pretty. Maybe fairy tale. I although the fairy tale scent is so strong to me right now, um, but the packaging is really pretty. I don't know. Probably won't buy that, but. I'm not anticipating any body care really, unless something really outstanding comes out. Anyway, I have Beautiful Day. This is Sunkissed Apple, Sparkling Cassis, Wild Daisies, Pink Peony, and Fresh Woods. This came out in 2022. It is, well, it came out this year, but it was manufactured in 2022. Have that one. Then I have Among the Clouds. I love this. I know this was not everybody's favorite, but I absolutely love this. Uh, this is also 2022. This is Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. I, I've been enjoying it thoroughly. Then I have, ooh, this one came out in actual 2022. This is Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This is Strawberry Puree, Buttercup Flowers, and Bubbly Prosecco. I love strawberries, so, you know, you give me a strawberry scent, I'm going to be very happy. This next one I have two of because I loved this scent as well. I don't know how popular it was, but this is Sun Blooms and Suede. It is white raspberry, pink petals, and uh, vanilla cream. I think I only picked up one shower gel, so I have the two lotions to go to the one shower gel because that's about my ratio. I've gone through at least one, well, I've gone through one entire fragrance mist already this year, and I have two backups. I bought one backup when I was like, oh, I'm halfway done with this one. And then I bought another one when they had it at 
SAS. So I do have those and I'm thoroughly looking forward to enjoying this because I love this scent. It's just so nice. I should have probably made this shorter. We have Wrapped in Vanilla. I've already talked about the notes, but this one came out in 2022. These are 2023, by the way. So I have that one, and then I have the companion to this, which was Blush Cardigan, which is uh, Sweet Raspberry Sugar Dipped Violet and Warm Amber. Not my favorite. Liked the warm, the Wrapped in Vanilla just a little bit more, but I did like this enough to pick up one. This one I might kind of give as my to my mom just because but she doesn't wear a lot of lotion, but I think this is a, more of a her scent. I love it though, still. This is Rose, I already talked about the notes, but I feel like if she ever gets through her one, which it's lasted her for a year, then that one is the next one that I will have her work on. Then we have Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. This one is from 2022. Sweet Jelly Beans, Mixed Berries, and Sugared Lemon. I forgot to tell you a year on this one. This one's 2023, so it's, it's a newer one. 2021, this is Bubbly Rosé. This is Pink Sparkling Rosé. I've already talked about this one. I don't know why I'm saying the notes again. This one is 2021. This is my next. It's still looking good. This is uh, in the spring. I'm planning to put that in a project pan. Then we got a whole bunch that are new this year, 2023. So we have Pink Pineapple Sunrise, which is Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drenched Nectar. And then I have two of the Watermelon Mojito. I don't know if I meant to get two, but that's where we are. This is Watermelon Soda, Pink Rum, and Cane Sugar. This is pretty good. Not my favorite watermelon. There are definitely like groovy watermelon. I like much more watermelon lemonade like much more. This one's just is an okay watermelon. Then we have groovy watermelon in the cream. I only have one cream for that. And this uh, is also, these are both 2023. And then I have a poolside cabana. I love this scent. This is summer in a bottle. This is crisp pear, warm breeze and solar sandalwood. It smells limey to me. I don't really get a pear, but it's really, really nice. I, I really like it. The rest of my creams I have are in this little one of a kind box. It holds like 12, so it just works out absolutely perfect. First up, we have blackberry and basil. I really love this because it's a grapefruit. This is fresh blackberry, pink pomelo. That's grapefruit. Sweet basil and jasmine petals. This is from 2022. I have three of them, so two and three. I'm trying to make sure I put them back in the way that I got them out so that I don't have to rearrange them. Then I have two whipped rose and vanilla. These are also from 2022, which is uh, crushed rose petals, a cocoa flower, and whipped foam. And to match that, I have a whipped rose latte, which is the same. This is just from the year earlier. So this is 2021. I really, I really enjoy that one as well. Then we have, uh, we'll do strawberry snowflakes next. Strawberry snowflakes. I can actually tell you the notes now. This is juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. So I have one, I have two, I have three, and I have four. I know. I told you, I went a little crazy with this one because I was so, I wanted to make sure that I got it. Oh, this one I hope they bring back sometime because I really love this one. This is uh, Love, the aromatherapy line Cacao Rose, which is basically just chocolate and roses and it smells so good. I really love it. And then I have one vanilla mocha martini. The notes on vanilla mocha martini, which is the same as vanilla mocha cream. This is Koki, cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. So that's how they go in the box like this. And I just, it's a great little way to store them. And I liked this one because it's mostly ones that are like favorite scents that I have multiples of and nice and compact. So that's it for my lotions and body creams. Yeah, lots. Uh, we'll continue plugging along. I'm filming this way early. This is the 21st of October, so I still have 10 days left and I am at the point where I need to cut open my body cream that I'm currently using and I have used about half of the other body cream I'm using, Caroline Herrera. So I, I might start on another body cream. I might finish both of those before the end of the month. And that's kind of, I don't know, I feel like that's an accomplishment. Sometimes I can get more than two done, or at least start a third and have like maybe one that, maybe one and a, two and a third or two and a half a month. That That's impressive. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions do you have some of these scents? Do you love some of these scents? Are there some of these scents that you hate? Let me know down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and I can't wait to talk to you next time.